Okie dokie tacticians, here we are, uh, another part of Final Fantasy, the super amazingly awesome, fantastic, super Final Fantasy, uh, tactics of play. So, we can move up, uh, but first, a little bit more, uh, the battle screen, uh, the, we can go to act, and this gives us an available set of moves, only accumulate and wish, really? Okay, so we got a crappy dealing for the first part. Our status, we can see what, uh, abilities we have on the right, which says ability. EQP, obviously equipment, uh, and if you look on below the avatar, or to the right of the avatar, you can see, uh, zero out of, a, zero one out of eleven, that means his turn's next, or immediate. Uh, the level nine, the experience 76, HP 153, MP 25, CT is count, turn count. Uh, yeah. And there's the five movement, three jump, speed six, and that's pretty much that. Uh, we can go to auto battle. Th these don't look available, but um, they actually are. Fight for life means you f you do everything you can. You go on the offensive, protect your allies, your defense, uh, you defend. Save fading life, whoever has the least amount of HP, your character will go running to them. Run like a rabbit means you get away as fast as you can or as far away as you can in so as short a time as possible. So, let's continue on here. You want to move here? Yes. Once you make the move, you can't go back from it. That's the problem with that. Uh, so, we can't do anything, really. But we can accumulate, which we, which grows our attack. So, when we attack next, we'll actually be doing more damage. Initially, we could be doing maybe 15 or 16. Let's see what happens. Stasis Sword. Alrighty, then. That's that. Uh, now we have Alicia go. And then there's Lavian, or Lavian, whichever you prefer to call her. Uh, she stops. The Azels, I think. The Zalas. So he does 36. Uh, so apparently my calculation for damage is wrong. Wezalef? They, they have a quite interesting names in this game, so... I hope you get used to that. And see, Dish? I mean, really? Oh well. Uh, there's Fuchs. Twelve. Eh, he's attacking with a knife. What do you expect, right? Okay, and then we have Rad. What's he doing? Apparently he can use Throw Stone ability, which means you get to lob a stone across the screen at your enemies. Charge plus one. It's an essentially accumulated attack. Okay, so they did 20 and 32. Uh, look at the archers there. It's kind of weird. They're in perfect unison. Like, oh, they were in fairly close unison there. Looks like he has an extra arm. There's the night sword ability, just bow guarding all the kills. What a douche. As I said earlier. Oh, this is going to be a fun LP to do. You'll notice 3.46 a.m. over here. I don't care in the least a Lavian's turn again. Yeah. Okay, so now we get to move again. And I say we take our turn here. Yes. We go to act, we go to attack. We now do 49 damage, so a good proportion of his health has been uh, taken away. And that's that. And you can choose the facing there, too. I just chose the face forward. Uh, attacks from the sides and behind obviously take more, or have a higher percent chance of hitting because they're blind spots. So, yeah. Uh, I'm trying, I'm, I might power level this game. Uh, it depends on the situation I get into. Depends what happens. Uh, but, you know, I, don't, I, I might end up having to at certain times. Uh, I can actually already think of maybe two bosses I might actually need to do that at. And if you've played this game, I'm sure you know who I'm referring to. Okay, so it's Gaff Garion's turn again, the Dark Knight. He's using haste on himself, so apparently he's using uh, time magic as well. Alright, haste. I think I already know uh, early in the game what kind of class I'm going to have my guys go for. Or one of them at least. I don't know. Uh, okay, so he's bringing back Lavian or Alicia. 
who uh, was KO'd, not killed. Okay, so let's go back over here. I think that uh, the accumulator is a perfect uh, constant thing. Ooh, 56, so he must be lacking armor. Uh, when they jump from attack, when you jump an attack like that, you can usually assume they have either uh, no armor or just a naturally low, low defense. Uh, but depending on each class, that'll change uh, as a variable. So if you're a knight, you'll obviously get substantially higher defense than, oh, say an archer or a thief. Whereas those two, speed is your primary compared to uh, a knight where your offense and your defense are the primary and speed is not of great the greatest importance things like that so you, when you change class you need to really kind of think out what you're gonna do what why do you specifically want them to be that things like that I don't know I think I already have some classes in mind uh, but it might be it's a long shot to get it early in the game but we'll see what happens Another phoenix down. Yeah, we're doing pretty good here. We're doing uh, all right on time as well. Haste, 100% chance to hit. I wonder who he's using this on, actually. 30. That's potion. Yeah, that's average. Okay, and those little signs behind their names are all showing a second. Okay, you see next to uh, the Brave, there's that little sign. That means a Gemini. That's, uh, that varies from character to character. Like, uh, hold on a second. Let's see if I can show you his. He's, I think, a Libra. I can't remember exactly what all the Zodiac, zodiac signs. I almost said Zodiacal. Which I would have sounded absolutely buffoon-ish. Uh, so, yeah. A holy knight, obviously the opposite of a dark knight in most aspects and manners. Ah, oh, he's gonna attack me from behind. No, no. Oh. Oh, there. I pressed the triangle button, and now I can see their status. I can see what items they have equipped. Basic skill. Now, hold on a second. I think you can press select. I don't feel like finding that. Never mind. Then you go to end, and then they resume, and then their turn goes back. So we'll see what uh, he will do. Twelve. He uses throw stone. Six. Uh, the variable of attack came in. Defense. I mean, yeah, defense. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just flabbergasted, sort of. Not really flabbergasted, but just at a loss of mind at the moment. Uh, Gaff Garion leveled up. He's level 11. Davian's gonna kill him and level up. Unless this misses, no, 100% chance to miss, so it's not going to happen. Alright. We won our first battle. What? <clears throat> Let go of, Let go of me! Damn, uh, damn! Come here, be quiet. Why should I listen to you? What an annoying princess. Oh, that is just not cool, dude. Really? You're gonna be that guy? Wait! Mm -hmm. Wait! Tough. Don't blame us. Blame yourself. Or God. Clearly an atheist man. Or of some sort of atheist view. Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, God. I'm having trouble with the voices here, clearly. Delita? You're alive, Delita? But why are you in Goltana's troops? Why? Hmm. Many questions. No loading. Alright. Okay. Uh, there's a fairly long cutscene coming up here. Let's hope we'll be able to finish this off. Delita's name is appears for the first time a year before the Lion War broke out. This part's kind of long, really annoying. Um, sure you can read that. I'm just gonna go to sleep here.
No, I'm not kidding. I'm not sleeping. Many soldiers returned from the war and had no jobs on money, but even less loyalty to the crown. Many became thieves and rebels plotting rebellion against their royal family. So apparently this game uh, is very uh, social, political, and very uh, yeah, class heavy. So um, this is all. This whole game is going to be politics essentially, but we're not going to be looking at a political view of this. That's not what we're going for this game. We're going for the amazing super let's play version of it. Yeah. Chapter 1, The Meager. Huh. Well, I suppose that'll be it for this time. Or this chapter, at least. I'll, uh... Actually, I might be able to get this out of the way. Let's see if we can do this. I heard another wagon bound for Egros was attacked. Must have been those death car. Something's starting. Know anything, Delita? No. No, but I can guess. What do you mean? Prince Larg's coming to town. Prince Larg? Why? Not only Larg, but Marquis Elmdor of Limberry, too. That's news. It's not an official visit, is it? There are danger zones everywhere in Ivalice. The Hokuten Knights are in full operation, but suffering from a shortage of men. So they need us cadets. Everyone fall in! Alright, you maggots, I'm gonna whip you into shape and make you the greatest platoon this Hokuten Knight Corps has ever seen. You have a mission. As you know, barbarians are rapidly increasing here in Galon. The traitors just go to test the royal family, and we cannot overlook them. We will begin eliminating the trainers by order of the All Master. Logs that station at Agro's castle and many other groups participate. Your duty is to support the flanks. Specifically, you go to Agro's and help guard it. Mumble, 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 mumble. Cadets, ready your swords. A gang of tortured thieves is trying to sneak into this town. We'll begin preparations now to keep them out. Come with me. This is for the front line of operations. That is all. Prepare immediately. Ura. Another battle. But not now. We have things to do. Well, this is it for now, folks. Uh, this is Rukudo saying, saying peace, love, respect, rate, comment, subscribe. And remember, follow what the tactician says, otherwise you might die. <laughs>